Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is my first album review. And um, today we're going to do something a little bit that I haven't seen on the internet before. It's a review of Them Old Country Songs on RCA Records and Tampa Records, released in 1972. It's a double LP, and it's basically just a country compilation from before 1972. So there's side A, track one. Jim Ed Brown, How I Love Them Old Songs. It's a great fast song, and it's a great way to kick off the record. The Davis Sisters, I Forgot More Than You'll Ever Know. I'm not a big fan of their version, but Johnny Cash did a cover on his 1962 album, The Sound of Johnny Cash, and that was amazing. Jim Reeves, Bimbo. Um, that song was mainly just meant for kids. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, uh, let's see, Del Wood, Down Yonder, that song, <clears throat> that was a very good song, probably one of the best instrumentals, but, um, it also scared my cat, so that's that, and then we have Stuart Hamlin, The Soul House, um, um, that was a really good song too. Johnny Cash did a cover with that on the stat with the Statler Brothers. So that was cool. Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton, just somebody that I used to know. Um, another amazing song, good blues song. Hank Snow, I don't hurt anymore. Another really good song. Johnny Cash did a cover of this on his 2010 album, American Six, Ain't No Grave. Side B, Jim Reeves, He'll Have to Go. That was not one of my favorite songs on this album. Actually, Side B, either Side B or Side C are probably my least favorite sides on this album. Then there's Skeeter Davis, End of the World. That wasn't a very good song. Chet Atkins, Wildwood Flower, instrumental. Great instrumental cover of the Carter Family. I absolutely love it. Hank Lachlan, Please Help Me, I'm Falling. That's just a kind of sentimental love song that I'm not a big fan of. Jimmy Dean and Dottie West, Slowly, um, not a big fan of. Jim Reeves, Four Walls, again, not a big fan of. Um, and Homer and Jethro, Baby It's Cold Outside, which they did with June Carter. Um, I actually quite like that song. Um, I, yeah. That was a, and it's obviously a Christmas song now, and we're in the Christmas season, so that's pretty cool. Um, side C, Jim Reeves, Missing You, another kind of sentimental love song. Mm. Let's see. Side D, um, or wait, no, we're still on side C. Connie Smith, Once a Day. That's alright. Bobby Bear, Detroit City. That was, I really like that song, and he performed that on the Johnny Cash show, too. That's my favorite version. Waylon Jennings, Brown Eyed Handsome Man. Um, <clears throat> Waylon was actually living with Johnny Cash at the time of this song, and it's a really good song. He performed this on the Johnny Cash show as well. Porter Wagner, Green Green Grass of Home. I'm a big fan of this song. Um, I do like better, though, Johnny Cash's cover on the Folsom Prison album from 1968. Um, <clears throat> the Golden Rocket by Hank Snow. That is one of my favorite country songs of all time. One of my favorite blues songs of all time as well. Pop a Top by Jim Ed Brown. Um, wasn't a big fan. Tell It Like It Is by Archie Campbell. Again, wasn't a big fan. Now, I really liked Side D on this album. All but... Mm, I liked every song on this, but two. Jim Ed Brown Morning wasn't a really good song, in my opinion. Dottie West, Paper Mansions wasn't a good song, in my opinion. But Roger Miller, You Don't Want My Love. Oh, Lord. He has... 
he has a good voice and he has the blues like in his voice during that song it's amazing Dolly Parton, Mule Skinner Blues. Dolly Parton is a country legend. Need I say more? Um, Leon Ashley, Laura. Again, you can hear the blues in his voice. It's amazing. Nat Stuckey, Plastic Saddle. That's a great, catchy song. And they end the album with Jerry Reed, Amos Moses. And that's another really good song. One thing I really like and what all albums should aim for is that on the last track of the album, they should end it in to make sure that the fans like want more for the next album and I really think that this song really does make me want more at the end of an album anyway thank you for watching this uh, I'll see you next week and bye nothing else to say